hello and welcome to my channel um i want to show you how i made one of these um it's a traction engine um and there's different types of traction engine in there so um this one um it lights up so you've got lights underneath there so and i hot glued light wire lights onto that one um so i'm just yeah i'm just going to show you how i done it um and then i used i done this is my first one i done because some traction engines um don't it's only the showman's engines what have well most most of them have the lights on and and the roof some of the other traction engines do but it's mainly the showman's engine and some of them um are like this and they have like a a big flywheel in and like a little steering wheel there and a fire box down there so yeah i just i've messed i've not messed about but i've played about with the um train um die set from uh, so this is the die set we're going to be using and i'll show you the so we're going to be playing with that die set so i thought i'd just show show you how i've done it i did make a train in the end by the way but i was just thinking what else can i um, do with it i've also used these little pieces which comes from the carousel what your horses go on to um so that would be that one and if you have got this set it would be that piece there all right um but don't worry if you haven't because you could always use as um a piece of card with um, a bit on the end of it as well now on my first one i used uh that die there it's um from uh john next door and i've i cut off all these bits around here but for this one i've used i've used that one because if you look on the wheels they have got like little track pieces so they can um, bite into the earth as they're moving and i've also used some um, nesting um, circle dies as well but i'll show you for why because these have got like a little um um that's where they clean the boiler bit out from there and so i um just cut out a circle I think that one's got um, two or three on there and a black foam pad I think that one has so have a dig round see what you've got and if you have got these cogs these are the mixed media set ones so if you have got these um, don't forget to use your metal um, shim with it as well um, and I did, and I've got some grey board as well, so um, that's what I've, I've coloured, look. So I've already done one, I've put one together. So it comes out like that. But I wanted, because I looked at pictures um, of my showman's engine um, online, and they had like, yeah, it's like yellow paint or gold paint, because they're quite highly decorated, the showman's engines. So, to get the lights, I'm just going to turn these lights. What I done was, I, I knowing us crafters, we've all, always got wire lights um, hanging around, haven't we? What I did with the first one, I did use hot glue, but then I had to have somebody to help me um, hold it and get it in position whilst i carefully place the hot glue and then i've got some um, finger protectors and just 
press my finger down on it but this one I've just put red liner tape on which would be a lot it's it was a lot easier now this measures because um, this is the piece for your roof so along here is um, seven millimeters but you need it is that right you'll need it 15 in length because I, I double up on the boiler part of the engine so I'm going to show you how to do that and this part the chimney you can double that up as well because um, some of them have quite um, high um, uh, smokestacks and they put an extra piece on as well to draw the um, the fire or the smoke through so you know this is your boiler part so what I've done is where's my glasses here on top of my head so what I've done is I've come along and I've cut off glue tab, the glue tabs because you won't need them okay don't worry just cut them off <laughs> but only on one side because so, you're going to come along and you're going to you're going to come along and glue along there so it makes your boiler part longer um, you could do that on your train as well but I didn't do it but I hope you could do if you wanted to so we're just going to glue that and I've done it in a, a lighter colour because um, dark colours don't always show up on um, the camera very well do they lay that flat and just bring that over Ooh, I'm trying to slide it. Let's give that time to dry and I'm going to now bend all the other little tabs that I've got. She says and um, tries to bend more than what I should. Um, to, I'm using the uh, 240 GSM. Um, so that's done those. So we've got two um the end parts for it to go on to now I'm gonna fold all these lines now So this smaller one here, that is the um, that is the middle. Okay, so you can see it's that one there. I like anything to do with steam. I like the smell of the um, of the coal and yeah, it's not so good though if you're on a steam train 
and you've got your hair dangling out the window and then all the soot comes in your face. <laughs> I do I do like to smell it. <laughs> Wouldn't be the same, would it, if we had electric... Well, we have got electric ones, but... Yeah. It's, no, it's not the same. The romantic side of it, it's... Sorry, I'm bringing it up to myself and you can't see what I'm up to. Let's do this one at the same time. I'll just bring that one in again. Do these ones. I think what I should have done was put these on. I so said what I've what I've done is I've cut myself some strips of Von Gold Mary and they usually have like um um strip bands of um, brass or something going round the um should have put this on before I glued it all. We'll see how we go, shall we? We just um, we we'll just do this and curl it a little bit, give it. Silly person I am. Glue these on before you do all the rest. <laughs> so that's going to go round there like that, and then that'll cover that join, and then. I put another one um, just here and then another one at the back but on this one because I coloured this black I only put two on but it's it's up to you whatever you want to do I've just is that one thicker or did I do them all the same size no. just wondering whether I've got to mine might be a little Well, I'm just playing now. What I do is, I just run the glue along off what I don't need. So you can put another one, you can put another two on. It's up to you. Let's just press that down a bit. That's it. Then we'll put this other one on. Because I like, I can't remember what it says in the instructions. I like to put two of these on. Like that. 
and then I'll glue it onto the main part this bit here now I haven't to make that opened one I did cut this down along along there but I thought save me um, trying to get something up here to hold the roof on I thought it was just easier just to leave this on um, to make it as an enclosed cabin sort of thing um, so let's just put this on It's surprising what you can do if like if you've got a collection of dies as well um, yeah because I thought I forgot I, I'd um, got those uh, cogs on that other one um, but Tony could um, just uh, release some um, craft kits with um, uh, cogs on as well But they come in useful for anything, don't they? Especially if you want to make a a man's card. By the way, steam engines are not usually pink. Blue, green, red. It's just the sound of the fairground, isn't it? Right. The, um funnel bit now um, to make that double one what I done with this you know this what I done with that one I cut off um, one side of um, glue tabs and then I glued it together and that gives you a bigger funnel but this time we're not going to do that we're going to make up how you would make it up This one I'm going to close off uh, both ends. And the other one I'm going to leave open and I'm going to cut the glue tabs off. Let's just give those a good press down. Where's my little, um, here they are. So now we're just going to put some glue around there. Pop that on. see what I mean with dark cards you can't really see can you now we're going to do the other end because you're going to be gluing this to the inside of your well on the top of your boiler part that I've just done but 
but it it looks as though it's coming up through the roof because that's what they've done um, with the um, engines themselves. And have you seen the big um, engines? We they used to do the ploughing with them, didn't they? So they used to have like a, a wheel on the bottom and it laid flat, and then um, the chain. Um, unwound as it was pulling along and it was attached to a plough so that's how they used to do ploughing when the traction engines come along so that's going to stick on to there all right that's those two done we are going to cut one of these layers off off here They're not layers, these tabs, because I like mine open so I can have smoke coming out the top. And I think I'll do that next because I've got some, um, still, I hope it's still a little bit damp. So, as before, you're just going to Glue down that glow tab. The sun's gone in, so I can't see what I'm doing. And then we're going to, because this is going to be sticking to the top part of your roof, we need to put one of these on. Where's the nice side, that bit? Yeah, Right, the other thing I've done, there's lots of little elements um, to do. So, this is a piece of copier paper, and in my collection of pens, I've got um, pitch black. I'm just having a look, see if I've got something to scribble, scribble on. So it's pitch black, and I've just gone along and just it's just copy of paper. Pitch black, and then um, I've come along with um, herb and graphite, it's a glitter marker. So um, I've just gone on the top of this and just just gone over like that. What, how, what, how, however you want to do it, and then of course you do it when it's flat. And then I just scrunch it up. So now, so you know, coal. If you look at it, you sometimes you get that shiny glittery bits in it don't you so now you've got that shiny glittery bits on there so that's going to be your coal and that will hide your little battery piece thing up in your back of your thing of your traction engine right the next thing is i'm hoping yeah it's still damp so this is a baby wipe and i sort of sort of tugged at it and distressed it and whatnot you want it not wet because they're quite wet when they come out aren't they don't worry about it being so i might have to if you can just pull it apart 
because you only need a little bit of one and it does look better if it looks distressed slightly and get hold of that and I've got another one here which is funny enough it's called black smoke so all I done was I just went over lightly because I don't know whether you've seen when you if you've ever been to like a um, an attraction and you've seen like like smoke coming up and then I'll just get hold of it and you do get that little spots of black and white and grey and whatever in there so that's how I do that's how I done that so the next part is is put so as I say this was um grey board or whatever you find um, and I've coloured this because I wanted it like black and I put in because this this cuts out I've put it back in because it would make it easier to stick onto your so I've just put a little bit of glue around here And then the other one, like I did do a lot of cutting out for it. Um, I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Using like, so if you've got some grey board, but if you haven't, just cut it out um, three times, five times, or whatever time you think you might need to support um, whatever you're going to. Well, really, mine are just. For show really I'm not going to be putting anything in there but if you're going to be putting sweeties in then you might need like five melted up together and then um, to cover that those holes I'm going to put that there so it looks like the bolts that are coloured and um, that bit there because on a traction engine how did I do this I might as well go around like that anyway cover those holes up there like that and then we've got another piece but this is um, just 240 and then that's going to stick on the top so it's going to come um, over there like that so that's those, that's those um, the wells done If you didn't want to make um, your engine, um, the boiler part um, long, just cut it out um, as it would come out to make the train. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. But the boilers are usually long. And those, um, those boilers, they have to be inspected every year. Even, you know, like the little miniature ones, they have to um, have an inspection to make sure that there's no leakages in there otherwise it's like well they are like a giant pressure cooker so if that exploded it would go everywhere so they have to have a, a safety certificate every year right um, even little ones like miniature ones people have in the show the shows and um, the big ones come here I cut out um, three of these black ones um, that is the actual that is the, that no that's not that is it excuse me no that's not right it must be that one's already done. 
Don't tell me I've thrown the wrong one away. Good God. I did to cut out three of those. I oh, now I've only got two because I've placed the um and I've cut I've cut out this one in the yellow. I might just cut out another one in a minute. Yeah, I've only got one on yeah. Won't take a minute, I've got a piece of black card up there. Not Let's have a look, make sure. Oh, it's not up there, is it? Ah. Do you know, I probably picked up the wrong one, didn't I? Let's just get my little machine out. Yeah, because look, got six on there. It really does need, like, you know, building up those wheels. And I did do them with, um, like, 240 each time. That's probably what I don't. I probably, um, chuck one piece away. This. you need it the same otherwise it won't look right so that's those done that, that's the wheels done so now we're going to put um going to glue these this together so i've already um creased my score lines so, all right. So that's just going to go like that. So. Oh yeah. I'll tell you about that booth as well. So this is all in the instructions in the um, the train set now. Because this, this is no different. Now we're going to have um, this piece that's in your die set as well, so that's that one, and that, that's going to stick on the back. So it's going to come into there. Then you're going to glue these ones here. I'm going to do those at the same time. didn't want to use a baby wipe you could use cotton wool for that smoke because I did think about um, 
using that and I thought I had some you know us crafters are well we got we have everything don't we what think might be useful for crafting then when we want it can't find it right so we've come to the part where we're gonna stick our body on that's why I like I like a flat surface to be sticking that on I find it easier to to do it okay don't know why hold it that up for it's uh, I'm going go this one because it's um, a bit crooked down this side so hide it up so if you do go a bit crooked don't worry I'm going to stick and you can put your fingers inside and push it up get the I'm just going to just slid it over a little bit more because I didn't have it quite right there. Good job I checked, isn't it? Right, that's got... And you can come up underneath as well and give it a press as well if you want. the little door on here I've used that's what I've used that nesting circles one for and um, I think it, it's one it's definitely one of the smaller ones it's the second one from this from the smallest one so it's um, one two so but you, you've probably got nesting circles in your stash rooms, whatever you've got. This is where you start looking for things and, you know, what could make, what sort of thing. So I like to um, just come, because they are sort of domed. So I sort of have that domey thing right going on. Okay, and then you see these bits that glue on your wheels, which um, you get two sizes. You get a longer one and a shorter one, which is the shorter one I've used. Okay. So they, they're used to go on your wheels, but we're not going to use it for that. I've got to have a look to make sure I do it the right way round. So, let's use these scissors here. So I think I had to um, even chop this down a little bit. I've cut, off, cut out two, just in case I needed to. I made a mistake sort of thing. So they sort of come um, like that. I think I'm going to have to chop that a little bit more actually. Not a lot, just a little. Yeah, I'll we'll just do this one a little bit as well. I think I'm going to. Um, some tweezers is 
I'm terrible. Which uh, that way it goes that way. In the middle, more or less. Does that look too long? Because one was a little bit longer. Um, usually one's a little bit. I can't get on with those tweezers. I forget that I've got to press it to open it. going to go like this and stick it down just over the top like so uh, should have had this out ready aha some black foam we're just going to put a little bit of I think I tried with um, two and it was too much I see it's got to go that way Ooh. So it's going to come sort of there like that. Yep, that's, that'll do. Right. Um, so I'm just going to put these down a bit. So what I, yeah, like I said, it is a bit fiddly if you are going to use... Um, hot glue to glue these into and be careful if you want to do it like that but I've just done this with red liner tape and these ones are blue but I think you can get these in all different colours can't you I'm sure you can now the next thing is, is um, try not to get it too close to here because you want to glue this on and try and get your wire down in that little crease there like that you might have to it's probably enough let's just have a look see it's a bit fiddly I might add Okay, uh, we best put this on first as well because we want that to, oh, but put the, um, otherwise I'll, I'll clock up my nozzle, I'm going to put this one um, up first. Oh, oh. I'm gonna. Don't know what I am gonna do. To be honest, I've come over a little bit, so I've just chopped it off. So, how far are we coming? Let's have a look at the. Oh, I see. We did come up to about here. Not right on the end. Because they had like um, it looks like a little um, a little box thing. I, I don't know whether it would be a dynamo or something. They had sort of there, but I didn't um, put that on mine. So when that sits on there, that comes down onto there. 
and I've got a flat bit there so I can put some glue on there and we're going to put some glue on here and on here I hope that everything sticks This is where you need two pairs of hands. No, I didn't put none on those other little um, Um, glue tabs because you've got the wires um, going across I think yeah let's see if that's has that taken it looks like it what have I done there Just put a little bit of smooth that over there. So I've done a different shade of pink. For the roof. For goodness sake. Do shut hold. So with this chimney you need to look to see where the where the other one is and just stick it on your roof so it looks like it's coming up through so we're just going to put some glue on there and turn it over and have a look to see where see if it lines up a bit then you can put your bit of smoke in Oof. just give that a minute to I haven't quite got that roof off I don't know what it's cooking the other side, no. We might need a little bit more glue here as well. Because you've got your lights underneath it, um, it might just lift up a little bit, but keep putting glue on. I think I did use um, uh, hot glue on the other one. This is coming all right together with um now these ones you know like you folded that over and i chopped this off and just pulled one over and chopped one off So they have like little um, support things that come up in there to hold on to and they do sort of um, to see if I can tuck it underneath that wire. So they do bend like that, um, they bend inwards on a natural um, Sherman's engine anyway, So, and they were sort of twisted metal, so, um, but uh, I think they like, it was like they sort of cross it over like that, 
but um, yeah, it just so we're just going to bring that to there, and then that's going to just a little touch of glue there. Where's my other one gone? There. So we might be able to tuck this in again. See, if you use the wet glue, then you won't be able to tuck it in because it would be sticking to the card and that. So I think this is an easier way of doing it. I might have to sort of move that up a little bit. Yeah, try and um, get it in line with the other one. down there right now we're coming round to the wheels now I had um, a bit of a Um, they have a bigger wheel at the back and a smaller wheel at the front could have come this way a little bit but hey ho so they're going to come Just have a look to see. So what I'm doing is I'm supporting like the front. You know that one they went on better than <laughs> when I first made one because one's bigger than the other one and I was trying to get it all level they were all slip sliding everywhere but this these have gone on um, better than what I could have wished for really <laughs> never mind um, so now when you turn it on you have lights underneath your showman's you put your lump of coal in there to wind up your battery and you've got your showman's engine all lit up so uh, there's a the little piece of paper I've just stuck in there and it looks like coal but you can push it up towards the opening anyway that's how I made one of those engines and like you can make the chimney stack 
um, uh, longer if you want to. I don't know what that would look like if you've done made the boiler longer on the train. I've never, I didn't try it, but yeah. So this one, it's got, um, I've got the little boiler front on there, and it's got uh, white lights on this, on this one. So yeah, that's how you make a traction engine out of a train set. <laughs> and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.